Hi, my name is Michelle Wiener. I am one of the pain management doctors for Spine and Wellness Centers of America, and I'm very excited to be one of the speakers at Canna Ed Day in Boca Raton. Uh, for more information, you can look below, and I hope to see as many of you there. Today we're going to talk about a few hot topics with medical cannabis. We're going to talk about addiction and overdose and uh, a little bit on pain management and I hope to see more of you there to discuss this more in detail. So in terms of overdose, there hasn't been one person who has overdosed from marijuana. This is because we all have an internal system that helps with homeostasis. It's called the endocannabinoid system. There are receptors throughout our body that interact with all of our systems, our cardiovascular system, our nervous system, endocrine system, and these receptors are not found in the brainstem. Therefore, using marijuana cannot induce any type of respiratory issue, such as uh, with opioids. Many people who have pain management take opioids and they can have an overdose from opioids because of the fact that these receptors are in the brainstem. So again, no, no chance in overdose with marijuana. In terms of addiction, similarly, these receptors are not found in what's called the mesocortical limbic system, which interacts with dopamine. So there has been some evidence that there's about a 9% um, addiction rate. However, this is probably an overinflated number, which again we'll discuss more in, in the future. In terms of pain management, there's been much evidence showing that cannabis can be a therapeutic option for people in pain. Cannabis is a strong anti-inflammatory. There are many cannabinoids within cannabis. Cannabidiol, in particular, can be a great anti-inflammatory. There's been lots of evidence showing that it interacts with certain receptors, like the TRPD1 receptor, as well as uh, the psychotropic effects from THC can help mitigate the stress response to pain. It also interacts with the uh, pain signals going to the dorsal root ganglion. So when thinking about pain management, the fact that you cannot overdose from marijuana, it has a, a very low addiction rate, and it has many different properties within it that can help with different aspects of pain, not just um, analgesia, but also antispasticity and anti-inflammatory makes uh, cannabis a good option for people who are having pain. Thank you again, and I hope to see you guys at the Canna Ed Day in Boca.